Yeah, man, we are back in the gym. You dig? I'm uh, today is deadlift day, and uh, I don't know if uh, many of you guys know about this, but um, at the beginning of the year, I had uh, threw my back out deadlifting some minuscule baby weight, but you know, ever since then, uh, the, actually, this is my second time back uh, deadlifting with the straight bar. So uh, I take every precaution. I warm up on the st uh, the stairmaster. Then I get a good stretch in. I'm making sure that I stretch my lower back, my hip flexors, uh, my inner thighs, all that good stuff. You dig? Um, I do a lot of like rotational stretches, like you see here. <clears throat> and um, I think the next stretch is also a rotational stretch. Just making sure that everything is uh, loose and limber and pliable so I'm not, you know, I'm not stiff. You did? Because when you're stiff, that's when you break stuff. Uh, so I li like to call this the on the beach pose. I uh, cross my leg and then push against my knee to try to look behind me on the exercise side of the game. Head going 360. Uh, well, try to at least, and that stretches out, you know, my lower back and my hip flexors. Um, and this is a good stretch for the um, the IT band, loose up the muscles around the IT bands and the hip flexors. I just cross my uh, leg over my knee, my so that'll be my left leg over my right knee, and I'll push my right knee forward and also pull it with my hands as far as I can. And uh, when you do that stretch, uh, you can feel in your hip flexors and right on the side of your thigh. That's where the uh, IT band is. And then I'll switch like I already did. You feel me? And um, yeah, just whenever you're doing deadlifts or anything, any kind of exercise, make sure you stretch, especially for us older people. Um, here we are deadlifting. So I usually do some warm-up sets. Everything, um, all my warm-up sets are usually of, of five reps. You know, a play for five, two plates for five, you know, uh, two plates and a quarter for five, three plates for five, you know. And then once I get anything above that, uh, sometimes I do fives or warm-up with the heavyweight, depending on how I'm feeling. But, uh... When I went to 365 here, I'm just going to do a single. I'm working up to a heavy single of 405. I feel like I could do more, but, you know, I'm taking it week by week. Um, so I'm just going to use 405 as my, uh, my one rep max for right now. Um, also, when, and then, oh, excuse me. I'm doing some back down sets of 365. You know, first set was three reps. Second, the last two were four reps because I felt good. Uh, when you deadlift it, make sure that you uh, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Make sure you keep your lower back tight. Make sure you keep your traps tight. Make sure that you sink down in the hole so you're not just pulling with your back. Also, make sure the bar is as close to your shins as you can comfortably get it because you don't want to be, again, pulling all the way with your lower back. It needs to be a full body posterior chain lift. As you can see, that uh, the bar is really close to my shins, right around like the midfoot where my uh, where my leg inserts into my foot. That's kind of where I have, you know, the bar. And uh, these back down sets are just, you know, for strength, close to my uh, what I use as my max. But that's it. You dig? See you on next one. Is here. The champ is here.